Simonon was born in Thornton Heath, Croydon, Surrey. His father Gustav was an amateur artist, and his mother Elaine was a librarian. Simonon's paternal grandfather was a Belgian refugee who came to England during the First World War. Paul grew up in both the London areas of Brixton and Ladbroke Grove. Before joining the clash he had planned to become an artist, he studied at Byam Shaw School of Art which he attended on scholarship. He met Mick Jones in 1976 and six months later, the clash was formed when Joe Strummer joined with Jones on lead guitar. Simonon learned his bass parts by rote from Jones in the early days of the clash, and still did not know how to play the bass when the group first recorded. He is credited with coming up with the name of the band and was mainly responsible for the visual aspects such as clothing and stage backdrops. Simonon was shown on the front cover of the band's double album, London, calling Penny Smith's image of him smashing his Fender Precision bass guitar during a 1979 concert in New York City. The image has become one of the iconic pictures of the punk era. Simonon played bass on almost all of The Clash's songs, recordings that he did not play on include The Magnificent Seven and Lightning Strikes on Sandinista, Rock the Casbah on Combat Rock and Cut the Crap, featured bass played by Jones or Strummer, some but possibly not all of which Simonon later re-recorded, once he rejoined the sessions after filming Ladies and Gentlemen The Fabulous Stains. Also when performing The Guns of Brixton Live, he switched instruments with Joe Strummer, because it was easier for him to sing while playing guitar instead of bass as he sings lead vocals on this track. Simonon's contrapuntal reggae ska-influenced lines set him apart from the bulk of other punk rock bassists of the era in their complexity and the role of the bass guitar within the band. After The Clash dissolved in 1986, Simonon started a band called Havana 3AM, he recorded one album with them. He also participated in a Bob Dylan session, along with the Sex Pistols Steve Jones, that became part of the Dylan album Down in the Groove. Also Simonon works as an artist his first passion before joining The Clash. He has had several gallery shows, and designed the cover for Big Audio Dynamite's album Tighten Up Volume 88, as well as the cover for Herculean from the album The Good, The Bad and The Queen, a project with Damon Albarn, on which Simonon plays bass. Paul reunited with Damon Albarn and Mick Jones on the Gorillaz album Plastic Beach, and was also the bassist of the Gorillaz live band supporting Plastic Beach, along with Mick Jones on guitar. The band headlined the 2010 Coachella Festival and took up residence at the Camden Roundhouse for two nights in late April 2010. In 2011 Simonon spent time aboard the Greenpeace vessel Esperanza Incognito under the guise of Paul the assistant cook in response to Arctic oil drilling in Greenland by Cairn Oil. He joined other Greenpeace activists in illegally boarding one of Cairn's oil rigs, an action which earned him two weeks in a Greenland jail. His identity was revealed to other crew members after the voyage, and he joined Damon Albarn and the other members of The Good, The Bad and The Queen for a performance in London celebrating Greenpeace's 40th anniversary. Actor Pete Morrow portrays Simonon in the 2016 film London Town. The film was met with mixed reviews. In 2023 Simonon announced a new album Can We Do Tomorrow Another Day, in collaboration with singer Galen Ayers. The project arose out of Simonon's time writing music in Majorca during the COVID-19 lockdown and subsequently busking in front of cafes in Palma.